la gente de Rabbit ha presentado en un vídeo ya oficial lo que hace y bueno, básicamente están diciendo qué aplicaciones puede tocar, la alarma, calendario, contactos, GPS y bueno, las básicas, Spotify updates y algún eh, travel plan y en desarrollo están trabajando pues para trabajar con Amazon Music, Apple Music, eh, su modelo, etcétera, etcétera y planeadas en un futuro, no se sabe cuándo, pues estas integraciones con IBNB, Uber Eats, que puedas pedir por Uber Eats, que puedas pedir un taxi, así que vamos a ver un ejemplo de lo que nos tienen con la comida y luego veré, daré mi opinión de si le veo futuro a este producto o no. Working with multiple apps, but uh, DoorDash is going to be available on day one. And uh, before we go into the DoorDash and Uber, I have to admit that we, during our process training with Lamb, that we realized there's a significant difference between each service interface reload speed. Okay, some of the service reload faster, some of the uh, the, the service reload a little bit slow. Uh, things like DoorDash because it's 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 bunch of photos of each item's reloading at the same time. Uh, so I have to say that speed here is not optimal yet to our standard, but it works. But I want to show you and I want to be frank with you guys. And this is not as fast as Spotify, but uh, let's make it work. So let's go back to home and let's order some McDonald's. Can you get me McDonald's for food, please? Okay. DoorDash may take a while to load on Rabbit OS and may not be available in all regions. Yeah, we tell people it takes a time and we tell people, okay, maybe there are some address that DoorDash won't deliver or maybe there are some locations globally that wouldn't offer this service as well. Um, but while we're waiting for that to load, and I know 4G is going to be a challenging, uh, but I want to go back in here and show you guys, uh, I think I have a DoorDash website opened up. Um, this is what I'm talking about. This speed is a bit slow, but we're working on it to get it much faster. And the speed is not because of LAM is slow, it's because of the DoorDash interface just a little bit slower than the other services. Um, and I think, I think it just gave me a random restaurant and uh, um, I want to try that one more time. So sorry for that. I'm hungry. Get me some McDonald's for food. Hopefully it works. I know, I know the problem is that uh, the, the TWA, there's a lot of restaurants that wouldn't deliver to here. So let's give it another try. Okay? Yeah, I want to be as generous as possible. Right? Yeah. So let's wait for a little bit and see if it works. Meanwhile, I'll order this food for real. So later you you will realize that Rabbit actually says your order is being prepared and your order is getting delivered. Okay. So let's give it another try. Ah, oh, there you go. So we got McDonald's. Oh, you, you guys can see this. You guys still can see this, right? Okay, so let's go to McDonald's. And I know sometimes uh, the echo of this mic will give it a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. So it's, it's going to load the menu. And uh, uh, let's, get, let's just get a chicken McNuggets meal, right? How about that? Yeah. So it will give you all the menu options uh, with the most popular dishes. And again, you see, you can, you can scroll like this. So let's get this. And it added to the card. Uh, and let's move all the way down. So you see the card, and while it shows that, no one's touching this computer, right? And the DoorDash being here all the time. So it takes a little bit of time uh, because of the 4G with DoorDash in particular case. But I want to do this. What I'm doing is I'm just trying to refresh the page. You see? And it shows on my R1 too. So let's go check out. And during the initial set, set, uh, setup process, uh, you'll be asked to set up your own four digit pin. And we only need the four digit pin when it's money related. 
Okay, when you are paying something, whether DoorDash or Uber, we ask you for your PIN. We're not gonna set a lock on lock uh, every single time you have to input your PIN. We don't, we don't do that. So it calculates all the fees and all that. I just pay because again, it connects to my credit card on the DoorDash as well. So uh, for the demo purposes, I set it to uh, four zeros. And it's a nice little cursor that you can scroll up and down for the PIN. So it says placing the order. And well, this guy is doing this. Um, let's see what's going on on the other side, on the website, okay? So let's just give a little refresh. Oh, the shopping cart is gone. All right, so what happens? Um, I, I put one of my random friend's address, okay? So that guy's gonna get a McNuggets meal. It says your order has been placed, okay? So it works. Um, but before I go to the next one, I have to say, you know, order food is no big deal from your phone, right? You can use that, use your app. Um, but this structure of large action model, uh, this is its first baby step, right? We're gonna go from here and to much more advanced stuff. So there's, there's no shame for us to show simple features like that, because again, no one have done this structure yet. And this is absolutely not through API or SDK. This is large action model directly operating as rabbits or a lot of people call agents, right? So uh, I'm glad this works. So let's move to the next one, getting an Uber. Let's go to the right share. And get me a ride from 200 West 15th Street, New York to MoMA Museum, please. Taxi. Taxi. Just kidding. Oh, what? Uh, finding a right now. Finding a right now. <laughs> that's a nice, nice little touch from, yeah. So what happens right now, again, is Lamb is going to Uber after user authenticate through Uber and get me the Uber service going. So here it says confirm pickup. You can actually, right here, you can actually press and hold and change address if you want, okay? So you can continue because the address is correct. MoMA, that's correct. And then it will start searching for available drivers. And meanwhile, uh, let's go to the Uber page and let's see what's going on. Uh, each website is different, each services are different. For Uber, I don't need to refresh uh, to see the card because there's no card. You will just see your ride starts going right away. So let's get the cheapest one. So Uber X, and there's all the different selections right here. So let's go Uber X. Again, money related, we ask you for the pain. So there you go. It says processing and it just start deploying the rabbit search for driver for you. And we'll see from here. And someone, someone from our, someone from Bien, ya hemos visto dos operaciones que han hecho, una la de pedir comida y otra la de solicitar el Uber. Bien, lo bueno de este dispositivo es que está metiendo esta tecnología de los LLMs y te puedes conectar a otro tipo de aplicaciones, eso está muy bien, son cosas innovadoras. Lo malo es que no creo que tarde mucho Uber, la misma empresa en la que ha pedido el McDonald's, en que puedas hacer esas operaciones en su web, pedir por bot y simplemente en la, en la aplicación, en tu aplicación, en tu móvil y te quitas este dispositivo. Así que van a tener cierta competencia. Me parece muy bien que la gente innove, ¿vale? Así que el dispositivo está curioso, por ese lado muy bien. Pero por otro lado, no me parece algo que sea tan innovador para que la gente quiera llevar dos dispositivos en su, en su bolsillo. Si directamente puedes abrir tu aplicación favorita, en este caso la de Uber, en este caso la de comida o cualquier otra, así que lo va a tener difícil, pero bueno, lo han presentado, la gente ya está recibiendo la, las primeras eh, versiones, he visto vídeos y bueno, parece que tienen muy pocas aplicaciones en las que se pueda, con las que se pueda interactuar, así que bueno, ya veremos el, el futuro, 
que tiene. Yo no le veo mucho futuro, pero bueno, dejadme en vuestros comentarios si pensáis que este dispositivo va a triunfar, si os lo vais a comprar y como siempre darle a like y os veo mañana.